Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey again, and in this video, we're gonna go and do a follow up with the platformers that we made, specifically these moving platforms. Now, we had some comments about them where we can jump into the middle of the platform and get stuck inside like this. And that's kind of what we want to fix today, and we also want to fix the ability to uh, move easier on these platforms. You can see I've kind of changed the level out, and I've made this one not as fast. Now, in the end, we are still going to have an issue where if our player falls between the wall and the platform, our game currently will not know what to do, and uh, we will get stuck most likely in this platform. But let's skip ahead, and let's start coding. So the first thing I want to do is go all the way up to the top here where we have a little if statement to see if we are on the platform and if we are, we're going to change our acceleration value times two and then uh, add our horizontal input. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and just put it back to normal. So we're going to have our acceleration times our horizontal input. So we're just basically reverting what we did in the end of the video and going back to the original format. Now, right here where we have a collision for the wall and then we have a collision for the platform, we want to be able to make sure that when we're colliding with the X or horizontal uh, motion of the platform, we don't get stuck inside. So we're going to change this up just a tiny bit. We're going to keep this kind of simple. We're still going to make sure that when we are moving either left or right, the X position and Y position of our player uh, is meeting an uh, object of platform. Instead of doing the while statement right here, we're just going to get rid of this. And we are going to save our instance. Let me put this up one line. And that's going to equal instance place X plus horizontal speed the Y position, and then the object platform. So what we're doing right here is we're getting the closest available platform that we have um, had a collision event with. So what we need to do is make sure that this is indeed a platform. So we can say if instance is not equal to no one. So we know that we have collided with the platform. Then all we have to do is say X plus equals the current platform that we collided with, which is instance. And we want to add the horizontal speed times the instance direction. So if we're moving to the left, we will have the instance's speed times the direction to the left. All right, let's see here. It says I have a little bit of an error and I have too many brackets there. Now, once we do this, we want to make sure that we set our horizontal speed to zero because we're not going to want to keep moving because we're either on the very left of a platform or we are on the very right of a platform. Finally, the next thing I want to do is all the way down here where we check to see if we are on the platform and whether or not we can carry the player. Right here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little if statement. I'm going to say if the input horizontal is equal to zero, then what we want to do is allow the player to, sorry, then what we want to do is carry the player left or right. Now, if we play the game, this should fix a lot of the errors that we've been having. So we can come up and you can see right there, I can't jump, I can't jump into my platform. So that's perfect. Now, when I'm on the platform, I am moving just like before and I can move pretty good left and right here. And let's try this platform working good and let's jump up to the next one here and just like before I can move left and right and I should be able to hit the down arrow and go through the platform which I can all right so that's actually fixing a lot of the code that we had here now like I said we will run into the issue where our player can be trapped inside the wall and the platform let me see if I can get this to work here I'll just wait for it to come back and basically it's just because we haven't coded anything for our game yet to say, you know what, if you are trapped within the platform and the wall, uh, kill the player or we're not really sure what to do. Actually, that's what the game is doing when it does that. I'll try it one more time. I don't want to waste a lot of time here. If I can't get it, you know what, I can't get it. I'm sure you guys will, will find it. All right, so I'm obviously pretty bad at that. 
but uh, I think this fixes a lot of the issues that we have for platforms and hopefully you learned a few things and I will see you in the next video.